Nevada's new law banning handheld cell phones while driving has gained the lion's share of headlines in recent days. But another law that went into effect July 1st in the state hopes to be a lifesaver as well. It requires hospitals in Indiana to test for Crabbe's disease. It's a rare disease, but thanks to one Hoosier family, it may take even fewer lives in the future. Life was going well for the Clausen family in January of 2018. That's when Andrea and Joel welcomed their second child, Bryce. But that summer, things changed. He didn't hit milestones. Um, you know, he wasn't rolling over. He wasn't uh, trying to sit up. And so that was our first kind of sign of um, something was wrong. That's when they had Bryce tested and they were introduced to a new term, Crabbe's disease. Many of us um, may only see one or two uh, patients with Crabbe's disease, you know, in, a, in our entire career. Dr. Aaron DeWee says Crabbe's disease is so rare, only about one in 100,000 newborns have it. In particular, Crabbe's disease um, is the difficulty in breaking down a certain type of fat. Um, and when that fat is not able to be broken down, unfortunately, the byproduct of that is a toxic substance that is toxic to the brain and to the nerves in the body. But if it's not caught within the first 30 days of life, it's basically too late. And um, this, the disease has already uh, done too much damage to the body. For Bryce, it was too late. He died a little over a year after he was born. But the Clausens decided to turn their son's story into something positive. They successfully lobbied the Indiana General Assembly to require hospitals to test newborns for Crabbe's disease. While there is no cure, it can be treated. And if they're tested and they turn out to be positive, in that first few weeks of life, a patient could potentially have a stem cell transplant. And that, that, while it may not cure the disease, it can definitely um, lessen the symptoms and it can give them a longer, uh, a longer life. Bryce was at the ceremony in March of 2018 when Governor Eric Holcomb signed Bryce's bill, making Indiana one of only eight states to screen newborns for the disease. We're just really happy that Bryce was able to get this accomplished in his lifetime and that he was able to be there for the signing with the governor. and. Mm -hmm. It, it didn't help us, but we're just very happy that we can help others in the future. In addition to Crepe's disease, hospitals begin testing July 1st for Hurler syndrome and Pompe disease. Now that brings to 52 the number of diseases for which hospitals are screening when they take heel pricks from babies.